I'm still being asked on the channel from some people who are having problems when the cue ball is near to the cushion. Now I've covered this, I thought, in pretty good detail in the previous video, but perhaps there's a need for a recap on some of the points. The first thing is that when you're playing off the cushion like that, make sure that you've got a good tip. Right? It's no good trying to play these shots with a worn tip. Also, make sure that tip is adequately chalked. Now when we play a conventional shot, and we can get our hand on the table here, we try to keep that cue as parallel as we can with the bed of the table. If we try to do that when the ball is on the cushion like that, there is a very real danger of sliding across the top of the ball and miscuing. No good at all. So again, I'll make sure I cue, chalk my cue. And this time I need to raise the butt of the cue slightly so that I'm knitting slightly downwards on the cue ball. I emphasize that word slightly. Don't overdo things. So here I'm parallel. Now I just need to raise up and knit very slightly down on the cue ball. Except that there are limitations I can do with the cue ball. Don't try and belt the ball in, just stroke it in and accept that there are limitations. Now another point that happens when we're playing off the, off the cushion like this yeah, if we return to a conventional shot, I get my hand on the table and look at the distance my bridge hand is away from the cue ball. I move round here and you'll see that I can't even reach the table. So this hand needs to come forward to there. Now the problem is people tend to leave this hand in that same position. You mustn't do that. This needs to come forward the same amount. If you leave it out here, you're losing control here and your cue is going to be all over the place. Bring it forward the same amount and now I'm still under control. I can dictate what this cue is going to do. It's not going to dictate to me. So here, when I play that shot, I like to have a V form with my finger and thumb just as I would there, but then I drop it down. I've still got this V here. It's not just the finger that I'm sliding against. There is a definite V, although I've dropped it down almost to below the cushion height. All right. Another one you can do, obviously, is finger and thumb like that. Yeah. Or the last one, grab the thumb, the thumb around the rail there. No problem with that. Kyron actually does that. Kyron Wilson, young lad I coach, he plays like that. That's fine. What suits one person doesn't suit another. So, so long as we keep it stable and we can play the shots, there's no problem. So, again, here we go. Here's my conventional position. I normally hold in my cue about there, and I'm there. I come forward into this position. The hand comes forward, and now bring this one forward roughly the same amount. Raise the butt very slightly, hit down on the cue ball, accept there are limitations, and play the shot. <laughs>